today's video, we're going to show you one of the best blitzes in Madden 24 right now. It's going to come to us out of the nickel 3-3 formation. If you want to get my entire nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, we're going to be dropping that um, in the Patreon. You can get that by joining the Patreon today. It's only 10 bucks. We've got a full ebook out already, and we actually just dropped a massive update to the defense. So, again, if you want to get access to that, link's going to be down in the description. We're going to be showing you a really good blitz out of this and how to get some great pressure out of this. So, let's play as nickel blitz zero. What we're going to do is we are just going to press. We're going to shift our linebackers to the right. We're going to pinch our D-line. And we're going to stand about right here with our user. What you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, you're either going to get slot corner pressure or a lot of times you're going to get A-gap pressure from your linebacker. Now, one of the best ways to ensure that you're going to get A-gap pressure, and this will also help kind of balance out against kind of trips formations, is you could do some adjustments like this. But we send the blitz off of the left side as opposed to coming off the right side. And what you'll see is when you kind of have an overload to that left-hand side, a lot of times it's going to send pressure right through the A-gap of the defense. Now, what's also cool is let's say we want a user over on this side. Um, we're going to do everything exactly the same. We're just going to use user over here. And now you're going to see that disengage and that A-gap type of pressure uh, potentially able to come from the right-hand side. So, again, we'll show it. So, let's say, you know, we are – you know, kind of pivoting our, our defense. We're going to move this guy slightly, shift this linebacker here to the left. We're going to stand about right here now. And obviously we're a little bit, you know, out leveraged to the left-hand side. We can adjust to that however we want to, whether one of my favorite things to do with this is actually to play kind of a cover three, um, cover three cloud type of type, type of defense. So let's see, I think it's got a middle third, but anyway, something like this with the safety nickel back package on. And you'll see right here, see how you get that that uh, pretty good A-gap pressure right there. So it's not always going to come in. It's, you know, Madden 24 is a little fluky in terms of really just how blitzes work in general. Um, it's one of the weirdest <laughs> games I've ever played from a blitzing perspective. The cool part is you can kind of bluff, so you can kind of move this guy like you're on him. At the last second, you shift over here. What's cool about this is there's not, um, there's not, most people don't use identifier right now at this point in the year. And so... You know, maybe they set up protection over here, and then we send it off of the right-hand side. You know, maybe get a little bit better disengage. However, you want to structure this. And then the cool part about this is you can also bail into different types of coverage concepts behind the defense. So, let's say you know you want to play. If you're playing against bunch, maybe you really like to man up the slot. So we could do a defense that looks you know something like this, which is a pretty good little base defense against bunch. And if you've got them blocking a running back or something. There's not going to be a lot that's going to come open, and the pressure is going to get off the sheds pretty quickly because you're sending four, you're not sending five, and the blitz angles of this are actually pretty good. Uh, you can do a lot with these blitz angles. I think this is one of the better defenses in the game right now uh, just because of how good it is in terms of just kind of the flukiness. It's a fluky defense. It'll get, it'll get pretty crazy pressure if they send five out, and then if they don't send five out, let's say they start to block – what I've seen with this defense is sometimes the running back will actually go pick up the outside blitzer and it will actually leave the <laughs> the dude on the on the A-gap to come in untouched or the edge blitzer will come in untouched. So it's a really good little disengaged defense. Again, I would really recommend if you're going to run this, I wouldn't send five all the time. I wouldn't send six all the time, especially in this year's game. What you want to do is you want to kind of play coverage, play coverage, play coverage, and then you want to combine that with some pressure thing the biggest thing is everything always has to look the same if you can make your defense look the same you are going to be a step ahead of most people in madden we teach you all of the tools in your tool belt in terms of how to adjust to the best offenses in the game all out of one formation if you want to learn how to do that exactly make sure you join the patreon you can get the rest of the defensive ebook as well by being a member thanks for watching and sign up for the patreon head down to the description and click the link down below